In this lecture, we will define how datums are used and applied in mechanical design with geometric dimensioning and tolerancing. You will define and differentiate between datum terms and learn how to apply datums based on assembly. To introduce datums, let's consider a simple assembly. The brass part is assembled to the steel parts by the contact of three surfaces, the bottom surface, the left surface, and the front surface where the pin is embossed. Let's illustrate this. We can argue that this makes the bottom surface most important in the assembly because it is the leveling face. The left secondarily important due to it being aligned to the steel part and the front face lastly important due to its necessary contact with the mating parts. The pin is important as well, but there is clearance with the pin making it not as important as the three surfaces just identified. The bottom surface needs to be flat so that it can be le leveled and not rock. The left surface needs to be perpendicular to the bottom surface to properly al align with the mating part, and the front face likewise perpendicular to the bottom and left surfaces to become flush with the mating part. Notice the use of terms that signify geometric tolerance types in our description of the design requirements. This hierarchy of importance in mating surfaces makes a significant need to identify reference surfaces in a part for defining the tolerance requirements in all related features. This is what datums allow us to do. We can clearly communicate the hierarchy of importance of the surfaces just described by labeling the bottom surface datum feature A the left surface datum feature B, and the front surface where the pin is datum feature C. Notice the tolerance scheme using geometric dimensioning and tolerancing. The datums are attached to the surface through leaders along with the geometric tolerances. Now let's take a moment to do some critical thinking. Based on the simple assembly we just looked at, how are datum features determined in a design? Pause the video to consider this. So how should we assign datum features in the design? Based on the most important features of the design, namely those surfaces that mate or touch with other parts. Before we continue any further, let's consider some important terms. So far, we have been referring to datum features, but the datums is the theoretical plane that is being referenced. This is the plane, axis, line, or etc. that represents the true geometric counterpart or the mating part in the assembly. The datum is a theoretically perfect geometry that represents the counterpart of the surface. The datum feature, what we've referred to in our beginning scenario, is the actual surface on the part that contacts mating parts. This is also the surface used in measurement to determine if the part is in spec. The true geometric counterpart, as has been said, represents the mating part. In measurement or quality control, the true geometric counterpart is usually really precise measurement equipment that the part surface is placed on to be measured. Think of surface plates or mandrels when quality control takes measurements. Lastly, the datum reference frame is the coordinate system made up of all the datums in the part. This is like the origin where all the other feature dimensions and tolerances will originate from because it's important to have the most important features make up the base point for everything else. Let's get a better picture of this through an example. The 1, 2, 3 block with all the holes is the part in this scenario and the bottom surface of the 1, 2, 3 block is datum feature A. Zooming in, you can see that datum feature A is imperfect, which is why there needs to be a datum plane A that contacts all the high points of the surface. The high points are always in contact with the mating parts. 
the big surface plate that the 123 block is setting on or mating with, this is the true geometric counterpart that contacts the high points of datum feature A to simulate the true geometric counterpart that would be in contact in the assembly of this part. Not only is this the counterpart in assembly, but the counterpart in measurement and manufacturing, hence the surface plate. In measuring for compliance of the 123 block, all measurements taken from the surface plate from the true geometric counterpart would be measurements taken with respect to A. This is with respect to datum A. Why is this important? Well, if I'm saying a surface needs to be perpendicular to an another surface when in assembly, you want to take all measurements as if the part were in the assembly. You may ask, why not just measure the part while it's in assembly? Well, most parts can be assembled quickly, like a 7887 airplane. So you want to simulate it as much as possible to match the assembled state so that you can measure thousands of parts in one day. This is what makes the datum reference frame so important. It allows us to specify and control tolerances measuring for compliance as if the part were assembled. This is specifying and controlling tolerances according to design intent.